Welcome back to BBC News. Let's turn to a fascinating story because scientists in the UK have established that the brain ages through five distinct stages of our lifetimes. The study from the University of Cambridge has shed new light on the way that the brain ages with five distinct phases identified in case studies who've lived into their 90s. Neuroscientists found that our adolescent stage lasts until our early 30s when our brains rewire to become adult. Well, let's talk to Alexa Mosley, who led this research. And doctor, welcome here to the program. This is absolutely fascinating. So five distinct stages. Tell me a little more about what you've discovered here, when those stages actually begin and end. Yes. So we were looking at infancy all the way through 90 years old. And past work has shown us that connections change over time. Some strengthen and some weaken. But we lacked an understanding of if there's a pattern to this rewiring. And that's what we're showing here. Um, there's a non-linear change across development. So it's not that the brain continues on one steady progression throughout life. There's actually fluctuations that are happening. Um, and what we find is that there's major turning points in how the brain is rewiring that happen around 9, 32, 66, and 83 years old. I was fascinated with the adolescent stage because, as you rightly just said, 9 to, to 32, I think you just said, that was much longer than I thought was probably happening. Yes, um, there are amazing adolescent researchers who have been suggesting that adolescence might extend longer than we previously thought, all the way up into the mid-20s. And what we're showing here is essentially that the path or the pattern of rewiring in the brain is continuous all the way up until 32 years old. And what do you mean by rewiring? So you have these distinct stages. What is actually happening to the brain? quite a lot, to be honest, um, and it's different in each one of the phases, but we can essentially look at the brain like a map, the way you'd look at something like a road map, and we can quantify things like how efficient it is, the same way you think about how efficient it is for you to get from one place to another, a short and direct path. And so we're quantifying how the brain is changing in relation to these organizational metrics like efficiency. So for example, from infancy until about nine years old, the brain is actually decreasing in efficiency, and that switches around nine years old and begins a progression of increasing efficiency until about 32 years old. It is all absolutely fascinating. In terms of what you do with this new knowledge, I, I see that you're particularly interested in, in mental disorders that, uh, that people have perhaps before the age of 25. Am I right? And tell me why this perhaps uh, potentially helps. Yeah, so this project looked at the whole lifespan and it sets um, an understanding of what we'd expect the brain to be doing throughout all of these different phases. And that will hopefully lead us into future work that will help us understand why the brain is more vulnerable to certain things at different points in time. A great example of that is mental health. As you just said, about two thirds of people who will develop a mental health disorder do so before the age of 25. And what we show is that the brain is reorganizing in the same pattern from 9 to 32. So hopefully this sets um, some expectations that of what a healthy, typical brain could look like. And we can ask future questions as to why might the brain be more vulnerable to developing mental health disorders during this period of time. Well, it is absolutely fascinating, Dr. Alexa. Mostly, thank you so much for joining us and explaining some of that here live on the programme.